welcome to Yoga with Kate. Thank you very much for joining me today. Uh, today we're going to be focusing on the Surya Namaskar, which is a sun salutation. We're going to be doing a tutorial on this. It's the basic fundamentals of Ashtanga Vinyasa, which we'll be recording a class later this week. So if you do this tutorial first, you'll make sure you're doing it correctly. As always, if you're pregnant, please don't do these classes. And also please consult with your doctor before participating. So I would take it that you've warmed up. I'll post the video for my warm up over here for you before starting this class. So starting in Surya Namaskar, it's our salute to the sun, a fantastic posture, lots of lovely postures in there. So we're gonna go get started. So we're going to stand at the front of our mats, feet at Dasana, hip width apart. You want to be nice and straight, looking down at those feet, toes underneath the hips. Now, whilst we're standing here, plant your feet flirt firmly into your mat. Okay, we're just going to give our shoulders a lovely roll back and down and push them back down. We're going to keep them down there. We're going to tuck our tailbone under slightly so our pelvis is in neutral. And we're just going to close our eyes here for a second. Make sure those shoulders are relaxed. We're just going to take a few breaths standing here. Okay, keeping your eyes closed, we're just going to raise those toes up towards the ceiling, a little bit more yoga for the toes. This also, with our eyes closed, engages that core, so just staying there. And then we're going to plant those toes back down. Okay, we're going to take a nice big inhale. Then we're going to exhale into prayer. Namaste, everybody. From here, we're inhaling our arms up, look up. And then nice and slowly, we're swan diving down, exhaling down to our mat. Now you can bend your knees here if you've got any tightness in your lower spine. If you don't, then feel free to keep your legs nice and straight. From here, we're engaging our core. We're going to inhale the right leg back. Inhale the right leg back. Okay, so you want that heel extended back so the leg is working. This leg at a nice right angle. Okay, okay, then we're going to exhale the other leg back into plank. Now, your options here, if you're new to the yoga and you haven't got that upper body strength yet, you can drop down to your knees, okay, relax those feet on the floor and do knees, chest, nose, forehead, okay, coming on down. Okay, if you've been doing yoga for a while and you're nice and strong, we're going to come back up into plank and we're going to do our Chaturanga Dadasana. Now, a lot of body strength required, get those heels locked back. Now, really think about your core here, pull your tummy nice and tight. Now, we're not doing a push up with your elbows out to the side, we're keeping those elbows into our ribs. Hands should be underneath those shoulders and we're coming on down, normally exhaling down, coming down. Okay, now once we come down here, we're gonna try and keep ourselves a couple of inches off the mat and we're staying here for five, four, three, two, one. Then we drop our bodies down to the mat. Now, from here, you can either go into Cobra or Upward Facing Dog. Now, Cobra is the less advanced, okay, but it's still a fantastic posture. You're keeping those hands planted underneath your shoulders. Now, keep the elbows tucked back. Now, really importantly here, you don't let your shoulders climb up around those ears. Keep them back and down away from those ears. So you're gently pushing yourself up. Now, keep the elbows tucked into the side of your body. Now, really importantly, yet again, shoulders down. You're looking up if that's comfortable for your neck. Release your lower spine. Everything on your spine should be relaxed. All of the hands are doing the work. So looking like so. Okay. So if you're more advanced, you're taking your hands a little bit further back. Okay, so more to rib level. Yet again, making sure all of your spine is nice and relaxed. We're pushing those hands against the mat and we're bringing our bodies all the way up. Yet again, you'll see I'm rolling my shoulders, rotating them back and down. If you wish for more, you're coming up, so you're pressing onto those tops of those feet and letting your tummy sink down to the mat. Yet again, keep those shoulders down. Should feel a nice pull actually in your abdominal muscles in your tummy. Okay, so we'll come back down. Okay, so from here, when you've gone into your cobra or up dog, we're going to take our, tuck our toes under, pull your tummy in, and we're extending back into downward facing dog. Now this is one of my favorite postures of all time, okay? Now in this posture, as always, head and neck completely relaxed, okay? Shouldn't be anything going on in the neck, it's nice and neutral here. I've got my fingertips spread out. Now, it's almost like you're cupping your mat with those fingertips. The weight should be evenly distributed through the palms and those fingertips. Now as you'll see, 
Okay, we're trying to get our heels down to the mat, pushing our bottom up towards the ceiling, like an inverted V shape. One of the ways to think about this, imagine you have a table in front of you and you're pushing your hands on that table. That's how it should feel on your shoulders and your neck. And whenever we're here, okay, I always walk out those feet, okay, pedal those feet, those heels up and down, just to warm those hamstrings up a little bit more. Okay, then we're gonna look forward. You're engaging your core, pull your tummy in, and we're going to inhale that right foot all the way through in between those hands. Okay, then pull your tummy in. We're exhaling the other leg through to a standing forward bend. Okay, pull your tummy in. We're inhaling the arms up. Look up. Exhaling, arms by your side. Okay, we're doing the other side now. Inhaling. Exhaling into prayer. Inhaling the arms up, look up. Exhaling forward and down to a standing forward bend. Yet again, engage that core, inhaling the left leg back, retain your breath, take the other leg back into plank. So yet again, coming down knees, chest, nose, forehead. Okay, or you're coming down chaturanga, get those heels locked back, tummy pulled in, coming down for five, four, three, two, one. So yet again, coming into cobra, shoulders down, elbows bent, Relax your lower spine. Or yet again, you're gonna come into your upward facing dog, lifting your tummy off the floor, release that lower spine, looking up, tucking those toes under, and yet again, walking out to those feet. So in this posture, yet again, you're pushing your bottom tailbone up towards the ceiling. You should feel a deep stretch down the backs of those buttocks and those hamstrings, and eventually your heels and your forehead will be on your mat after doing a few of these. So looking forward, inhaling that left foot all the way through in between the hands. Exhale the other leg through to a standing forward bend. Inhaling the arms up, look up. Exhaling, arms by your side. Okay, so moving on to the more advanced view now, there's a few extra things that we can do to work that practice a little bit more. So, yet again, starting with your feet into Dasana, okay, hip width apart. Okay, so taking a nice big inhale. Exhaling into prayer. Inhaling the arms up, look up. Exhaling forward and down to a standing forward bend. So, this is where it gets a little more challenging if you wish to. You're gonna really use your core here a bit like in crow pose. We're bending the elbows, okay, and we're jumping back into plank. Okay, then we're coming down. Now this is where we're changing it, okay? We're coming down Chaturanga. If you wish to feel a little bit more, we're not going to touch our body on the mat and we're gonna go straight into our upward facing dog. Looking up. Okay, we're tucking those toes under, back into downward facing dog. Head and neck nice and relaxed. Walking out those feet. Yet again, when you're in this posture, just so you're aware, okay, the blood circulates around the back of your internal organs, massage your kidney, your stomach, great for digestion, and just an all round great posture. So with this, okay, if you're jumping forward, you're looking forward, pull your abdominal muscles in, and we're jumping in between those hands, straighten the legs, and then we're inhaling arms up, look up. Exhaling, arms by your side. So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial on the Surya Namaskar. Okay, I will be posting more videos. The Ashtanga video coming up is be really useful if you can do this video first, so you know what you're doing. As always, if you could please like and subscribe, subscribe to my channel, that would be greatly appreciated. And I look forward to practicing with you all soon. Take care, stay safe. Namaste, Om Shanti, which is peace.